The main routine with a one month old is basically feed, burp, sleep, and diapers. Yeah. Poop and pee. Got a lot of questions from people. Oh, really? Yeah. It's been one month. We have grandma and grandpa upstairs, which is the reason why we can even film this video. And I'm gonna talk about my experiences of what it's been like being a mother for one month. My experience is very different from a lot of people. I think I want to first of all acknowledge the fact that I do get a lot more help than the average individual who is a parent. I have a nurse at night and that really makes a huge difference. Not everybody has access to that, which is something I acknowledge. So my experience, even if I feel tired, it's not the same as everybody else because my feelings of tiredness are valid, but of course there are other people who are experiencing more than me. Anyways, let's answer some questions. Her full name is Suri Wong Soriano. Yes, I will, but I'm just making sure that everything is finished, waiting for furniture to come in. I think you have to realize that it consumes a lot of your time. And I think that having a baby is a huge responsibility. Not that I think. And anyone who has the opportunity to go through this undertaking really needs to consider how much of your time you're going to be dedicating and how much of it you're willing to give up. If you're not willing to give it up, then you should reconsider some of your choices. The worst part of taking care of a newborn is that you don't really get much sleep. Like right now, I used to like put on makeup and actually look like um, I get sleep for the camera, but I don't really care. Like this is how I look like now, just tired. Thank you, Suri is not allergic. I'm so happy. I would have been devastated if she were allergic. Mm -hmm. Pat, what do you think? Yeah, she's good. She's good. Uh, the dogs. The dogs love yes. her. Love. L O V E. Yeah, the boys especially. Milky yeah. was hesitant at first. She thought she was going to be the only baby girl here. Yeah. It was planned. Okay. So I am ready. I'm like 30 already. So. 31. Pat, are you ready? 31. That's 31. Thank you for rubbing it in my face. Mm -hmm. Are you ready, Patrick? Uh, yeah. So sleep schedule currently is based on when baby is asleep. So you find any opportunity to sleep when the baby is asleep. And the first month, it's very difficult to kind of get your baby used to a bed. So you really need to build a habit and get them prepared so that they can sleep for longer periods of time, which means that you can sleep for longer periods of time. I do have a lot of supply, which has been great. Um, I do plan on continuing breastfeeding. I do alternate between pumping and breastfeeding just to give myself a break. And I also have storage of milk that I have started making and creating. And I use the Medela pump. Can't imagine people that had to like squeeze it back then. But yeah, for 30 minutes I pump and I come up with about like five OZ every single time after 30 minutes, which is great. It's a lot of responsibility and commitment and it's a total different headspace. So you need to change your mindset and make sure that you are not being resentful, but at the same time you are sacrificing your comfort for another human being. <laughs> because like there are things that you need to cater to and make sure that you're willing to do all these things. An example would be like, she needs to find a comfortable um, position to nap. Thus, you need to make sure that you cater to those needs. And whatever you can do, try to achieve it. If it's not possible, look for alternatives. I alternate between pumping and breastfeeding just to give myself a break. And it is absolutely okay if breastfeeding doesn't work for you. I think there's so much pressure to go th with natural, whatever, but we are future forward now. So if you aren't able to produce milk, that's absolutely okay. 
we are not in the position to judge if you do not have supply. And I think there's such a heavy emphasis on what's right and wrong and what's most important and the most important outcome for your baby is to make sure that they're healthy and safe. Every child has different learning capabilities and what they are willing to learn. So you cater to those needs and it doesn't necessarily mean that whatever works for that child will not work for somebody else. Patrick, you want to answer that question? Well, I've mainly been helping with the diaper changing. <laughs> Take on shifts? Yeah, just fill in the gaps when Winnie is not the one taking care of her. We do one hour shifts. The basic answer is like help with uh, burping and changing diapers and rocking her to sleep. Like. The main routine with a one month old is basically feed, burp, sleep, and diapers. Yeah. Poop and pee. Yeah. yeah. Winnie's definitely doing the brunt of the work, so I'm just trying. Thank you. Emphasis on trying. <laughs> No, and she is still trying to get used to sleeping on the bassinet. It's proven to be quite difficult. And somebody likes to put her on the bed. I know. I mean, it's hard. She falls asleep when she's on the bed, so... Yeah, yeah. I know, but you need to build a habit. Oh, okay, girl. Okay, girl. Wang Su Rei. That's her Chinese name. Patrick, say it. Wang Su Rei. Wang Su Rei. I have really bad posture. It's made it even worse just because she's tired and I have to carry her. Yeah. I haven't experienced it yet. I feel like my recovery has been great and I haven't experienced what some people have talked to me about. And everyone is different. Everyone's experience is different. Uh, one of the things that I've told my friends is that you need to make sure you work on everything you need before you give birth, just because you really don't have time to do any of that. Maternity leave is absolutely crucial. Baby's development is so important and it's critical for you to give 100% of your time and energy. So yeah. So I have a number from Makati Medical and that's where I get my night help. I can send the number on YouTube. They want to know the bill. Bill reveal for CS? Is that it? Um, C-section. Oh my chance? god, the bill reveal. I don't even know. Yeah. Thanks, Tita and Tito. Yeah, that was um, sponsored by my parents. Thank you very much. A lot of the things were sponsored. Having a baby is very expensive, so please consider that. I just feel really lucky that a lot of this stuff is not paid by me. There's no skincare routine for a baby. I only use Mustela to wash her. You can't really have a routine yet, a skincare routine because they are still like shedding their new skin from the womb. It is her full name, Suri Wong Soriano. The Wong is in there because in the Philippines, you kind of have to add the name of the mom. And I actually wanted to just make it Suri Soriano, but whatever. It's a good idea. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Okay. We're married. We're married. Right, what? Or do they know something? I don't know. <laughs> Are y'all seeing Winnie out? Yo, yeah. Let yeah. me know. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not having a baby again. Hmm, really? Sure. We'll see. But like, babies are so expensive. Like the cost to raise one, it's a lot of financial responsibility and I think that anyone who ever considers having a baby should really make sure that they have enough set aside just because you want to make sure that the baby has the best developmental experience possible. Like growing up, they should have access to a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. You do the best with what you got, you know? Exactly. So. Just put in the bag. <laughs> wow. Well, actually, our doctors were very emphasized how fortunate Winnie is to be producing so much milk, actually. So Winnie actually has been producing a lot of milk. So says the doctors anyway. I mean, we don't have any reference, but they tell us that some mothers will struggle to produce milk. And Winnie is not struggling because her mom has been able to produce this magical Chinese concoction of... Uh, soup. Soup. 
<laughs> maternity soup. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I tried it, and I mean, even I was okay. <laughs> so, no, I was <laughs> lactating. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. No. I'm scared. I might end up lactating. <laughs> 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 when you would like wake up in the middle of the night. I'm waking. I'm a cow. Oh, I'm waking. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that, that should answer the question. <laughs> no, Pat is good. Just sometimes you, you will get irritated at your significant other just because you have to decide on things that you prefer. I stopped listening after you said good. <laughs> <laughs> good job. <laughs> wow. Good that's, that's job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kicking her under the table. Good. Our friend Alvaro was the one who came up with Suri. We were trying to come up with names and it's been so difficult. Like one of the names I wanted to go with was... Are you pausing because no. you don't want them to hear it? No, I do. I'm just making sure you're in focus, yo. Oh, well, one of the names that we were trying to use is Sky, but... Oh my god. Pat, no, it was Skyler. Skyler. Sky. Pat doesn't like that. I, I wasn't a fan of Skyler. Because it's the name of that Breaking Bad character. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, to be fair, I also right. pr didn't like a lot of the names just because being a teacher, you kind mm -hmm. of associate people with names already. So mm -hmm. it's kind of hard to like be unique. The only one I liked was Saskia. Yes, we love the Dreamland mm -hmm. Swaddle. We tried it. That's what we've been trying. Right? Yeah. So that one's really good. It's so good. That's one of the best must buys. Just m remember that she'll probably outgrow it in like a month. So don't buy like a bunch. Yeah. <laughs> Patrick. Oh, me? Yeah. There's a particular face that Suri makes that really looks like me. Hmm. Oh yeah, I get it. I get sandwiched now between these two looks. Yeah, it's the... She just needs to work what? as hard. If she, if she can work half as hard as you, she'll be fine. Thank you. Salamat. <laughs> I currently use Mustela. Oh, Suri loves taking a bath. It's yeah, nice. Suri loves taking a bath. She was like this. Yeah, she does not complain with the warm baths. Yeah, it's, nice. it's very like us. Okay, I think that's all the questions that I'm going to answer. Okay. How about you, Wen? Your overall first month with baby surgery. It is physically taxing, I think, for both of us. Pat, what? you know, you used to have insomnia. You don't have insomnia anymore. I'm a morning person. Yeah. I've always told you I'm a morning person. <laughs> Whatever. So, but like, you know, what was unexpected? Getting baby, pooped on. Baby. Oh yeah, she does have projectile poops, but that's okay. I didn't know babies get acne actually, like super early. But it's normal, so yeah, she'll get over it. Yeah, I didn't know about uh, jaundice, but uh, she's fine with it. The whole skin tone with the liver, I think it's like a liver condition. Or yeah. yeah. Just yeah. seek professional help. Ask your doctor who has been yeah, in this industry. Not Do not ask Google. I think one of my takeaways is that every child is different and like what works for one may not work for the other but overall it takes a lot of time and dedication and you really need to kind of let go of a lot of your own personal desires and needs unless you're milky unless you're yeah. milky was let her puppies go after like a month yeah she's like yeah, what up who are you all good go i'm done with you so you need to Make sure that you're mentally ready for that. I think I was mentally prepared for it. So I don't feel like this longing or desire for my old life. And I think that's really helped with postpartum. Shout out to all the moms that do this, that have done this like by themselves, right? There's a lot of single moms and they do it without any help. And they work jobs, like that's insane. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I mean, y'all should have a YouTube series yeah. on that. Yeah, because I, I mean, I already uh, get yeah. night help. Yeah, that's not, yeah, we get night help. And these women, like, they Don't. have kids and then they have to go to work and do jobs. And then they, oh man, that is, that is that's lot. heroic. Yeah, and one of the and most frustrating things, like, as having a newborn is, like, not knowing why they're crying. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's the frustrating part because, you know, like, the baby's crying and then you feel bad. Because, of course, the first thing that's going to hit you is, like, I'm a bad mom slash dad, why? Yeah. And then they're just like, wah, wah, and the baby's like, wah, means poo, wah, wah, means pee. And, you know, the baby's just like, don't you get it? And yeah, and you're like, like, I don't speak baby. Yeah. 
Yeah, but it's really hard, and you really need to not punish yourself if you don't understand what the baby's doing. Frustration is a yeah, normal so, you know, part of the process. Yeah, just try. It's just about a bunch of troubleshooting. And so just like, patience. This nope. Okay, let's try this. It did not work. All right, let's try again. In, you know, may, like in the time you were trying to figure out if something didn't work, maybe she pooped. So then you're like, oh, maybe it is poop. Patience. I appreciate you, Pat, because. Oh, so sweet. Because Ooh, it's hard. Are, um, the things you say went on camera. Okay, I'm gonna wear a camera on my <laughs> on my head now. <laughs> Just live stream with you. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Wani's the best. You should see Wani. Wani is a beast. She's like, I'm, I'm gonna take care of her all night. Yeah, it's exhausting. Wani's the goat. Thank excited, you. excited for more Suri adventures. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's gonna have a photo shoot. <laughs> okay, time for me to eat. Yeah, subscribe, so like, and subscribe. See you next time. Peace. Okay, usually I check if she has to change her diaper. She is drinking milk. Thanks, Pat. You ready to shower? Shower, sorry. <laughs> <laughs>